Hey there, we got a great one to cover. No hard inquiries, instant approval, $30,000. Yes, we found another great card, an incredible one. If you're looking for a, a credit card that can earn you points while also being a great option for purchasing, let's say, a new car if you need one, then this card is the perfect card for you. It's the GM Rewards Credit Card by Goldman Sachs. I'm gonna go into detail so that you know why you would wanna get this card. Now, Goldman Sachs has been making waves in the financial world. We've talked about it. They've got cash money and they're offering not only personal credit options, but also business credit solutions. Today, we're gonna focus on the personal credit card, the GM Rewards credit card. I'm so excited about this company because they are dishing out money in tough times where a lot of lenders aren't. They're pushing money out the door. With this card, you can earn points on all purchases, including car purchases. Who wouldn't want points from buying a car? Plus, the reward program is tailored specifically towards GM enthusiasts, meaning you can earn points towards a new car or a new purchase of certain accessories for GM as well. But the benefits don't stop there. The GM rewards card also comes with no annual fee and competitive interest rates, making it a great option for those looking for a low cost credit solution. If you're in that park, then this is a great card. So if you're in the market for a new card and love things that are GM, if you got a GM, be sure to stick around for the video as I dive deeper into the benefits of the GM rewards credit card by Goldman Sachs. I have lots of Goldman Sachs cards. The Apple card is also backed by Goldman Sachs. So we're going to talk about that. My name's Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, invest it because getting money is key. But knowing how to leverage it, which is what I focus on on this channel, is where I've become a multimillionaire several times. You see, in my story goes, I've been broke and homeless to multimillionaire four times. So I've been up and down the mountain and achieved multimillion, decamillionaire status again. And I'm here to help you get past that. So many millionaires have told me, Andrew, I can't believe you've done it four times. If I lost out once, I'd never be able to build it. So I want to help you guys do that. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries and I've acquired 17 companies. And with your help, we're going to acquire 99 more in my Epic 99. We're going to purchase 99 companies together. 81% will be owned by you. I'll own 19% and I'll put the capital and the money structure together. If you need a business loan, let's say you're looking for a business loan right now. I got the perfect loans for you, 12 different programs. I got 80 lenders and those lenders want to lend money. I'll find the right source for you. It's in the link in the description. Just go down there, hit loans and get your money today. Also, if you want stocks, which is just completely free money, don't miss out on that with Weeble and Moo Moo. But first, like I was saying, Goldman Sachs has really been changing the game, not only in the personal credit side, but also on the business credit side, which I love. You know, I've got lots of videos on business credit and why you should move all of your credit over to the business side so that your personal credit score will skyrocket. You may already know that offers personal credit cards as well as business credit cards, but they offer personal loans and business lines of credit. So GM is stepping up across the board. I'm really happy to hear them saying this. I've dealt with them over the years. so. They're an awesome company. One of the great things about GM Rewards Card is you can earn four times the points on all purchases and with no annual fees. And you can redeem these points towards purchases on Chevy, Chevrolet, if you like that new Corvette mid-engine or rear-engine car, maybe a Buick or GMC, maybe a Cadillac like my family is huge Cadillac family or GM vehicles. You'll also earn $100 statement credit when you spend $1,500 on fuel. Yep, you can fuel your car and get money back per calendar year, you get $100 towards your statement fee. GM cards also pay six months of your utility bills. You can choose from five different designs as well, so you have the option to pick whatever one you want so you can look cool. Maybe <laughs> order one all black and say it's a black card. Anyway, that's another, yeah, people do that. You also earn four times points for every dollar you spend anywhere, and you can earn seven times points for every dollar that you spend with GM, seven times. Let's say you use your GM credit card to purchase a GM vehicle, one of those cars. In this case, you earn seven times the points and there's no annual fees. So at no cost, just having an account set up and report on your credit is essential for building great credit as well. The application process is straightforward and easy. If you're already an existing member, you can just log in and it's already pre-populated with your information. One thing is to clarify, it is not going to be a hard pull to see if the offer you get is approved or not. 
You don't have to worry about a hard pull to see if you get approved. Your social security number or your individual tax identification number will be submitted to identify and verify you are who you say you are to Goldman Sachs Bank to confirm your identity, right? It's also doing a soft pull from TransUnion, so you know which one they're pulling from, but it will not affect your personal credit. At least that's what they're saying in the fine details. You'll be approved and you can accept your offer and start using the car today plus 15,000 points when you spend $1,000 your first month. So just switch a couple bills and you got 15,000 points out of the gate. The credit limit that you may be approved for varies though, but you can get approved. I was approved for $30,000 credit limit and zero introductory APR and purchases for 12 months, but that's just for purchases, not credit balances or moving money over. After the initial 12 months, introductory period, the annual interest rate goes up to 26.7, which I'll be out of all the money at that point. I'll pay it off. If you're not satisfied with the offering that you receive, you don't have to accept it right away. You can wait a certain, wait for your, maybe your credit report to update. And then if it's a little bit higher, then maybe do it. But keep in mind that if you do accept the offer, you'll be earning rewards and points every purchase that you make, including car purchases. As someone who regularly uses credit cards, you've seen the 30 that I have, I don't really see the value in 0% APRs, you know, because I typically pay it off. If you run a high balance on your card, it will slowly eat up your utilization, which the only cards I ever max out are business credit cards, like I've told you in the past. While not paying interest, this is one to accumulate points. If you need to put a little bit of a balance there for 12 months, it's appealing because you don't pay any interest, 0% interest. So if you need to save on your actual credit, let's say you purchase $1,000 and the 0% is gonna make a difference to you because you have a lower payment, this could be effective on paying back some of your debt you might have got behind on. On the other hand, if you had a business card with 0% for 12 months, you could leverage that fully without affecting your personal credit, which I highly promote. I promote people moving their personal credit card balances off into business accounts. However, since this is a personal credit card, I don't think it'll ever you'll ever really want to utilize the full capacity of the card as it'll increase your utilization, which will lower your credit score, especially if you're paying that minimum payment. One good thing about this card considering is that they actually give you a disclosure that tells you what your credit score is when you're pre-qualifying. They use my TransUnion FICO 9 credit score to give me the pre-approval letter while the number is not the end all be all that they gave because there's lots of different models as we've talked about before. I got to admit though, $30,000 is intriguing. It's nice to add another card to the collection. I don't see much value value in the card because it's on my personal credit report. So it's not something I'll probably utilize or max out, but I will pay for things and get the rewards, including that 15,000 points because that is appealing to me. However, on the business side, that's a completely different story. I max out and use that. I call that good credit, you know, not bad credit. Bad credit's on your personal, good credit's on the business. Businesses are supposed to be in debt. Overall, I think Goldman Sachs credit product, both personal and business, they're great. I love the underwriting process. It's amazing. The people are super cool and it won't impact your personal credit. So there's also a little hack when it comes to, you might wanna freeze your credit report after the offer is, and then accept it. That way you don't get a hard inquiry. Of course, I'm not advising anyone this, but sometimes it, I keep a credit freeze on mine pretty much all the time. On the business side, the GM credit card doesn't hard pull your credit otherwise, but it's important to note that it looks like Equifax personal and Equifax business, not TransUnion when they actually pull that side. So the GM card is an excellent option for those who wanna purchase and earn points, especially the 15,000, not worry about annual fees, get that thousand dollars back, maybe even get your utility bills paid, perfect for saving some money. The 0% interest is pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this, take care. Please leave me a comment in the comment section or a question if you have one. Also, please, if you haven't subscribed, like the video, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Take care.